Will the Bengals beat the Chiefs and win the AFC North for the first time since 2015? Hi again, everyone. I'm James Rapine with AllBengals.com and Cincinnati Bengals Talk. And happy game day on a dreary, chilly, but big day for your Cincinnati Bengals. They enter today's matchup with a 9-6 and record and with a win over Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid and company. They can win the AFC North for the first time since 2015, clinch a playoff spot for the first time since 2015, and we can spend the next week plus talking about seeding and not playoff potential. That being said, the Bengals, well, they're going to be shorthanded. They're not going to have Jermaine Pratt on Sunday. The organization offered all of us hope on Saturday when they activated Jermaine Pratt from the COVID-19 reserve list after he tested negative after going on the list on Wednesday but had a positive test on Sunday morning. He won't play. The good news is Logan Wilson is back. Double nickel 55 has missed the past three games with the shoulder injury. That's big, big, big against Travis Kelsey, against Tyreek Hill, against Patrick Mahomes, and against the Chiefs running game that uh, they rely on. They get the ball to their running backs out of the the backfield, and that's something to to pay attention to as well. No Clyde Edwards-Hilaire today. He hasn't played... At times this year, he's missed time, so the the Chiefs used to playing without their star running back, their former first-round pick, and Joe Burrow's former teammate at LSU, but certainly something worth looking at there as uh, we look. And and to me, this Chiefs offense, yeah, they have the big guns, right, the big three, Mahomes, Kelsey, Hill, but after that, there's some question marks, and I think that's one of the areas where the Bengals can outgun, so to speak, the, the Chiefs today. They have the better running back in Joe Mixon. They're three deep at wide receiver, right, with Boyd, Chase, and Higgins, all guys that are capable of going for 100-plus yards today and making game-changing plays. C.J. Uzama's made big plays this year, so they have a lot of different guys that can make plays. But to me, my, my two concerns, it's not Joe Burrow living up to the hype going against Patrick Mahomes. I think Burrow's going to be fine. I think Jamar Chase is going to be fine. I think all of these stars are ready to go. Can the Bengals' offensive line hold up in pure passing situations, which could happen early and often against a a team like the Chiefs that can run up the score and score a ton and and get you behind the chains and things like that when you have Chris Jones on the other side, when you have Honey Badger on the other side? So that's certainly one of the concerns. And then the other one's coaching. Let's be honest here. Zach Taylor, do we know who he is yet? I think he's been better this year. I also think he's learning on the fly. And when you're going up against an Andy Reid and an Eric Bieniemy and and proven commodities at at coaching, or you you know on the other side at, at, on that sideline, whether it's Steve Spagnolo, their defensive coordinator, you have to be able to go blow for blow, especially in a game like today. And I get it, the weather not going to be great. It's going to be a little windy, all of that stuff. I still think it's going to be a high scoring game. I still think that these teams are going to put up points because look, Patrick Mahomes is on one side. Joe Burrow's on the other, and I don't see a lot, you know, a defensive slugfest at Paul Brown Stadium today. I'm just not buying it, even with the weather. I think both of these quarterbacks are going to be comfortable in the weather. I think that their weapons are still going to go deep downfield, and that's the thing on defense. Can you avoid giving up the explosive plays? And the same thing for the Chiefs. They're saying the same thing. Let's not let Joe Burrow connect with Jamar Chase deep or T. Higgins deep or Tyler Boyd deep. And... The team that does that, that limits the explosives, should be able to force a turnover or two because guess what? The more plays you force, because I think both of these teams are going to move the ball up and down the field, but if you're not giving up those explosive plays, those quick drives, you're going to have more opportunities for that quarterback or that running back or whoever to make a mistake, to force a turnover, and that could be the game-changing play. So I expect a close game. I I talked about it in my prediction. Make sure you check out our official prediction. It came out on New Year's Eve. You might not have seen it. Hopefully you have. But uh, yeah, I I expect this to be a close game. I think the Bengals certainly can win, but a lot of things need to go their way. And it does start with explosive plays. Don't turn the ball over. If they do those two things, if Zach Taylor can coach uh, a high-end game, put together a game plan, offensively that keeps the Chiefs defense, a Chiefs defense that has exceeded expectations over this eight game winning streak for Kansas City. I think that they're they're gonna have a good shot and more than a puncher shot. But it's a big stretch, right? To assume all of those things are gonna happen. And I say this all the time. Win, lose, draw, we're gonna have you covered right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. So happy new year. 
Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, and by the way, before I sign off, what a bummer it is. Trey Waynes is not going to play today. He's on the COVID-19 reserve list. I named him as my X Factor. Would have loved to see him <laughs> in this secondary have a shot. Well, not, not happening today. So uh, he would not be my X Factor on defense. And, and you know who probably they're going to have to bank on to make a game-changing player too? Number 30. Certainly not an X Factor. One of their best players on defense, Jesse Bates. It's money time for Jesse, and uh, we'll see if he can make a play or two. We'll see if the Bengals can clinch the AFC North for the first time since 2015, for the first time in the history of this channel. Regardless, we'll talk to you after the game. We'll be at the stadium. And uh, until then, for our editor, Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine, signing off for now right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk.